Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. <coughs> Impeccable timing, it's like you were waiting for me to start and then... <coughs> no. Oh boy. Anyway, um, today, as the title implies, we're going to be talking about uh, the idea of hindsight bias. Um, now for those who don't know, what hindsight bias is, is when somebody takes... it. it someone predicts the consequences or the outcome of the behavior of any individual. However, this prediction is usually based off of personal um, experience or views. So that doesn't particularly mean it's false, but it is also based off opinion, so it has like a 50-50 chance of actually being accurate. Um... Now, the act can be considered false for the sole purpose that because of the fact that it's not a reliable way of looking at things all the time, um, well, that actually sums it up right there. Because it's unreliable, it kind of, it's like a throw of a dice, like I said earlier. Hindsight bias is one of those things where if you were to go into it with that kind of mindset you have a large chance of being wrong about the circumstance unless you know the individual well enough like let's put it this way pink fox and i since we have similar enough mindsets if i were to go off of hindsight bias i actually have a high probability of being right hey. uh, same 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 in reverse okay I was about to say, because I'm right more than you are. <laughs> Love you. Anyway, Amber and I are very good examples of when hindsight bias can actually be accurate. However, if you were to put one of us in front of somebody who we know whose personality and thought process are very, very, very different. Like my aunt and grandma, for example. Okay, uh, if you want to throw family into the mix, I guess. But at, th at that point, then it's like y you have a high probability of actually being wrong. No. Unless actually, you still have a high probability of being right. With but hindsight. Because they think of how they what they believe is wrong. Well, not or with what they believe is right. Hindsight right. bias is based off your own personal experience. That's why it would be wrong. Is because it's based off of what you know and your own experience. Um, so, in the sense of somebody who thinks entirely different, you'd have a larger chance of being inaccurate. Um, like, Amber and I were having a conversation earlier on today, way earlier on in the day. It's like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock now. So, yeah, it was like five hours ago. <laughs> um, I actually don't remember what it was about, but we pretty much simultaneously said the same thing at the same time. That aspect actually does come from hindsight bias. It cores from the same part of the mind that causes that. So when me and him have a disagreement, it's often us saying the same thing, just interpreting and approaching it differently. The reason for that is because of the fact that she's vague and I'm descriptive. Otherwise, and I'm from the South and he's from the West. Yeah, that too. Of the states, we should probably point out. Or at least what's known as the South, we should say. Virginia. Like, Virginia, Alabama, Tennessee. Idaho, Mississippi, Arkansas. That, 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 that funny little category Florida, of states. Florida, Aaron is from. Yeah, actually. Um, but because of this factor, actually, that's another good example of, like, opposing hindsight bias where it wouldn't work. <laughs> I personally cannot um, base that, like, his behavioral... I can't, like, look at his behavioral tendencies and go, it's going to be this, based off personal experience for me, because he's from Florida. Uh, and I'm from Arizona, which is complete opposite. You're taught and you learn completely opposite ways. There. Aaron, growing up in Florida, he learned uh, things a lot differently than I did, even though we're both from the same part of the country. Um, he takes things at a rougher approach, I guess, is because he was given 
a rougher circumstance at the time. He was he appreciated no, it's it's because of the he wasn't given a rougher circumstance, but you're right. He does take a rougher pr- approach. It's it's called tough love. Yeah. Um, but regardless, <laughs> because of this factor, um, neither of us can really go off of hindsight bias and go. He's gonna think this. He's gonna act this way because it wouldn't work. It would not work just because of the fact that his thought process is different. Than both of ours. His is actually more similar to mine than Amber's on the front of like, like what we talk what we talk about on here a lot psychology. Um, but when it comes to like this other house. factors, that's where he and Amber can relate. Like, like how a lot of people in the South act towards certain people and how they deal with certain. Yeah, dealing with problems are about the same on their front, but... So, let's put it this way. People from Virginia, they had their emotions a lot more than people from the West Coast do. And that's Florida, too. So, with that being said, Aaron and I could probably hold in a lot of anger before I just busted out. Yeah. I mean, it's the same for me as well, but I don't contain it as much. I intentionally don't do that, though. That's why we hold in our anger. Well, yeah, but as I said, you guys do it intentionally. I don't. We don't do it intentionally. Or, sorry, the other way around. You guys unintentionally do it. I don't. I intentionally release anything because, well, we'll get to that tomorrow or another day at some point, if not tomorrow. Anyway, I digress. With hindsight bias, it's very interesting to think about. Aaron is one of the perfect examples of why it wouldn't work for me. Amber is one of the perfect examples why it would work. Now, hindsight bias, it's an interesting it's it's an interesting psychological way of going about things. It's a good way to approach circumstance if you're going off of like a what if scenario because in that case you're not really off the bat assuming and then going off of that assumption off of one path. However, even then, it can be kind of sketchy, to say the least. I don't know. These are just my thoughts on it. And I guess a little bit of Pink Foxes, too. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on hindsight bias? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other uh, discussion rant videos that have been done on this channel? Click link on the side of my head. Uh, our little nostalgia train will take you over there if you want to check that out. If that's not quite what you're looking for, why not click, click the link on the other side where the, our nostalgia train will take you to something you might enjoy more. In the meantime, we're going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and we hope to see you guys in another. See you guys later.